2A title game between Dillon and Fairfield Central. Jackie Hayes going for win number 250, a rematch of last year's title game won by Dillon 21-6. Great start for the Wildcats. They establish the run. This is Damu Ford, 15 yards. He goes in untouched. Dillon races out to a 7-0 lead. Ford got it done on the other side of the ball as well. Here, the INT, Ford with the pick, gives Dillon fantastic field position. And on the very next play, Avery McCall goes up top and check out Arion Hayes. This is awesome. Full extension by Hayes. It deserves another look. One of the prettiest touchdown catches of 2013. 14-0 Dillon in front. Under three minutes to go in the half. It's the McCall-Hayes combination again. Arion breaks free and is off to the races. A 57-yard touchdown pass at the half. Dillon has a 21-3 lead over Fairfield Central. And the Wildcats put this game away in the third quarter. Their first possession, it's McCall to Hayes again. Arion Hayes. Breaks away from the Fairfield Central defense. It's his third touchdown catch of the game. The Wildcats jump out in front 28-3. And that Nasty Cats defense, which has set the tone all season long, comes up with a huge play. It's a loose football. Justin Cyprian takes off. 49 yards for the touchdown. All that was left was a Gatorade bath for Jackie Hayes. 41-3 is your final. Dylan, back-to-back -back state champs. Yeah, boy, what, what an effort yeah. by our whole football team. Offense and defense, I tell you what, I'm so proud of this team, I don't know what to do. Man, it's amazing, man. Four years, man, it's, I love my boys. It's amazing going went back two years in a row for my last year. I love these guys out here, it's amazing. It feels good, you know. Everybody, you know, everybody in Dillon, they love us now. You know, they used to, they used to down to us, but now they love us. Like I said earlier this week, I won that double cheeseburger. I'm a big boy. I got related to food. We got it. We did it again, baby. Let's show everybody what in the flute. Emotion high for the underclassmen, the seniors, the fans, even the chilies, even the band members. It feel great to be here, man. That's all that matters is getting a win on the state championship. That's all that matters. I mean, you know how to practice hard, get in the whirlpool, get right so I can uh, get, get this win, try to help get this win. All right, two for two. I mean... You know, some people go a whole lifetime looking for a state championship. How does it feel to have this much success early in your high school career? I mean, it means a lot, you know, for the seniors, too, to get a, get a ring. Last year, get a ring. It means a lot to get the second one in the row. One interesting side note from this state championship game, it really was a bad day for Fairfield Central. Their defensive coordinator was arrested on the way to this facility for possession of marijuana. He was in jail when Fairfield Central was on the field playing in the state title game. It didn't really matter, though, because it was all about Dylan. Arion Hayes, three TD catches, and that nasty catch defense doing what it did week in and week out. Dylan, back-to-back -back state champs. That's the story here in Columbia. I'm Rich Graham Panis. Let's send it back to the studio. Thanks, dude.